Welcome back. President Abdel Fattah Hassisi led a wreath of flowers at the Memorial of the Unknown Soldier, commemorating the 46th anniversary of the October 6th war victory. President Assisi was received at the memorial by the Minister of Defense Mohammed Zaki, Armed Forces Chief of Staff Mohammed Farid, and a number of ministers and state officials. Also marking the occasion, the President laid a wreath on the tomb of late President Anwar al Sadat, who led the 1973 October War for the liberation of Sinai. He paid respect to the late President and met members of his family. The president also led a wreath on the tomb of late president Gamal Abdel Nasser nearby Al Qubba Bridge. After the ceremony, the president headed a meeting of the Supreme Council of the Armed Horses. During the meeting, the president congratulated the Egyptian people and the Armed Horses on the occasion of the 46th anniversary of the 6th of October war victory. The meeting also covered a number of issues related to the activities and the duties of the armed forces, including the war on terrorism in cooperation with the relevant state institutions. Minister of Interior Mahmoud Tawfiq reiterated that the citizen security is a national duty and that the country's protection is a must responsibility that the policemen never give up. The minister stressed the importance of interacting security plans with the current regional situation, pointing out the ongoing dangers of the terrorist organizations. Tawfiq said that the nation became aware of the conspiracies and inciting calls that aimed at jeopardizing the country's stability and called for abiding by the rules and laws. He also called to continue intensive monitoring campaigns on the markets to control the prices hike. And still in Egypt, the public prosecution said in a statement that it released the foreign defendants accused of inciting demonstrations on the 20th of September by the demand of their respective embassies. The statement said that the accused foreigners went on to investigations during which they were charged of the participation with the Brotherhood terrorist organization in attempts to hinder the country's stability and to spread chaos. It added that they were also accused of funding and training some members of the terrorist organization for those purposes. The public prosecution asserted that the defendants will be reported to their countries. Egypt Fuel Automatic Pricing Committee has reduced the prices of gasoline in the local market by 25 piastres per litre, effective Friday 12 a.m. The new prices per litre are as follows. Uh, 6.5 Egyptian pounds for 809 octane gasoline. 7.75 for Egyptian pounds for 92 octane gasoline. And uh, 8.75 Egyptian pounds for 95 octane gasoline. The committee also decreased the price of industrial use mazet uh, by 250 Egyptian pounds per ton, putting the price of the ton at 4,250 Egyptian pounds. The decision comes in light of the decrease in uh, brand oil barrel prices on the international market between July and September to 62 US dollar per barrel, as well as the recent drop in the dollar price against the Egyptian pound. The decision is in line with the government's implementation three months ago of a quarterly price index mechanism on all petroleum products in accordance with global gas prices. And Egypt's stock market indices fluctuated on Thursday, being affected by selling operations by Arab and foreign investors. The main EGX30 uh, lost 1.14%. 
the small and medium EGX70 soared 1.53%. The more expanded EGX100 added 0.58%. The overall transactions and dealings within the session reached 1.2 billion pounds. Zamalek defeated Masr al Makassa 1 0 at Al Salam Stadium in the second round of the Egyptian Premier League on Thursday. Ahmed Said Zizou scored the game only goal for Zamalek in the sixth minute of the second half. Zamalek raised their tally to six points in the third place, while Masr al Makassa's balance was frozen at three points in the fifth position of the standings. Earlier, Pyramids beat their host Tanta 2 1 at Tanta Stadium. By this result, Pyramids raised their tally to six points at the top of the league standings, while Tantan's balance was frozen at three points in the seventh place. The Egyptian Volleyball Federation announced on Thursday that Egypt is organizing the African qualifiers for Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Egypt faced fierce competition from Tunisia and Algeria. The statement added that the qualifiers in the volleyball competition will be held with the preparation of eight teams from 6 to 12 of January.